Hey y'all, it's Paula. Welcome back to my channel. But you can't tell what time it is. <laughs> um, this is this is different though. This is a little different. Um, and I'm not sure which box I should open first. Um, this is a special unboxing from um. My dear, dear friend, uh, Bobby Jeffries, um, of Cloud Force Vibes, um, he sent out plants to me and Justin. He picked out a certain plant, and he said, hey, let's do a thing, let's do a group thing where, um, I'll send you a plant. I mean the same same plant, but I'll get three of them. I'll send you a plant, Justin a plant, and I'll keep one, and we'll grow them in our environments and do like a group project thing on this certain plant. And I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds pretty cool to me. Pretty interesting. Um, I'm like yeah, yeah, I I would really really dig that. I would really think that would be nice. Well, so he said, uh, he told me, he's like, um, I shipped them out, and uh, he said, but I sent you something a little extra for being my good friend all these years. <laughs> Sorry, it, it kind of brings me to tears. He's, Bobby's such a great guy. He is such a sweetheart. It really, uh, really chokes me up that he thinks that much of me <laughs> um I mean I, I think the world of him too um but I'm not real sure um which I should open first because I don't know which one's the project plant and which one's the plant just because he's my buddy <laughs> so we're gonna go with the one that's in front of me the long one and it was funny because he said he had to <laughs> he said I had to ship them in two different boxes in order to make sure that they um um peanuts Bobby peanuts <laughs> uh, um he said I had to ship them in two different boxes to make sure that um they were packaged safely and packaged right and I'm like oh okay <laughs> So then I go to the porch and I see these two big boxes and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like, I like, no way. <laughs> I really, yeah, I, I didn't know what to say. I was a little speechless. So, but I'm going to have to find somewhere to get rid of some peanuts. I would say definitely. Them's lots and lots and lots of peanuts. Lots of peanuts. Um, I guess I do see something right there. Or if I can get rid of just a few and sneak it out of there. I hope. Oh, I get every time I get teared up a little bit, I then start sniffling and <laughs> It's just so nice, though. He's such a good guy. Bobby's such a sweetheart. He really is. He's my buddy. We have been friends for a long, long time. Um, we've, we've talked a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot over the years. Now, I hope that's all that's in there. All right, so this was what was in the big long box. Hopefully everybody can see, all right. Um, there's our, our blue tape. <laughs> Orchid's infamous blue tape. We are so, so known for using hordes of blue tape. Mm. 
I'm so nervous too. Like I have no idea. Like he would not give us any kind of hints whatsoever as to what project plant was. And he didn't, uh, of course, tell me what my gift plant was. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. I would have to say this is the project plant. <laughs> I would have to say. Am I wrong? <gasps> what? Oh my god. Para, let's see. <sighs> if I can get it right, get it around there, and get it um, where you guys can see it. Parafalonopsis lecoxii. I have no idea how I'm saying that. <laughs> I have no idea how to say it. I don't know what this looks like. I don't know what, I don't know anything about this plant. I was going to say, now that explains, that was all he gave us was where he watered a tip of a root, and it was a pretty big root, so I would say, yeah, this is the project plant. Wow. Look at those thick green bean leaves. That's what he calls them. Green bean leaves. Look at them things. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Okay. All he did tell me was, he said, I think that it will really grow good in your environment. He said, I think I'm going to struggle with it. So I hope that he's wrong. I think, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really, um, don't really know too much I don't know anything about that plant. I can't say I don't know too much because I don't know anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, so this one must be my gift that I don't know where I would open it from an end, I guess. Yep. Um, I don't know anything about that plant. Nothing. So, I'll have to look it up. Um, but he did say, he said that uh, it should grow really good in my environment and Justin's environment, but um, he said it would probably struggle in his. So, I would say it's probably a highlight or good for one thing, if I had to guess. But I'd also say that it um, loves... Um, warm environment uh, which is what I definitely definitely have um, more peanuts Bobby really <laughs> packing peanuts everywhere that's alright packing peanuts is all good I just have to catch them at the end of the day because my fan blows them everywhere I'll have one roll out from somewhere where I've missed one or something and it stayed hidden <laughs> and I'll find it all of a sudden I'll be like where'd that come from mercy me this is a pretty good size plant <sighs> get it up out of the box guys Maybe. What on earth? <laughs> I'd say I better lay it that way because I think he packages stuff so well though, so I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about uh, laying it down because I'm sure it's padded. I'm sure he's got it padded well. 
more blue tape. They need to rename that instead of painter's tape. It needs to be orchid tape. It needs to definitely be orchid tape because we use it more for orchids, I think, than painters use it for painting. <laughs> Right. Oh my word. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Will you look at that thing? That is huge. <laughs> oh. Huge. What in the world? I don't know what it is. I don't have a clue. <laughs> Mercy me. It's a rambler. I can tell you that one for sure. And it is Dyneema polybulbin and cyclia. A miniature orchid related to encyclia to the encyclia. The oval pseudobulbs of this orchid are really small with can't tell what that is something pair of leaves the yellowish flowers have white tip on short spikes epiphytically grown plants easily grow on easily on a stick best with some shade and occasional fertilization blooms in the winter well oh Look at that. I don't know a thing about it. <laughs> I definitely do not know anything about it. I know I'm going to have to find some room for this beast of a plant. Or beast of a mount. And a plant. Which really, I mean, it is a beast of a plant. Bobby, you shouldn't have. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So there you have it guys, there you have it. Um, look at that. Spray down some, get some root, green root action going here. Some of my ghost fertilizer. Nice roots on that. But, there you go. That is my little unboxing from Bobby Jeffries and I guess um, we'll wait to see what uh, um, we're all going to release the videos about this one um, together uh, at the same time Justin gets his we're going to release we're going to do our videos and release them at the same time so you guys get ready for a fun time of a project plant and learning all about this orchid because I'm going to be learning and I hope we're going to be able to mount it on what we want to mount it on because <laughs> I don't like this mount <laughs> so for me it'll definitely uh, go on a cork mount for sure um, of course I don't know these these long long uh, roots I don't know I'll tell you what, really interesting, huh, guys? Well, now I'll just wait to hear from Bobby and see what he says. So, I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me. Bye for now, till we meet again.